Hello, this is Jeffrey from Schema App. Today, we're going through a short tutorial for collection page schema. We're gonna learn about the collection page schema class, uh, when it's useful, some tips about how to use it successfully, and an example uh, using the Schema App Structure Data Editor. So first, we're looking at the collection page uh, page in schema.org and the description for it is web page type collection page which isn't very helpful by itself so you know, when is a collection page useful and the answer is when your web page has a, a collection of things without an implied hierarchy so you might have a number of things on a single web page that are all important, but not more important than one another, and you want to call them all out in your markup. If that's the case for you, then collection page is probably the schema class that you'd like to use. So uh, there's a big long laundry list of properties that we could choose from, um, and I'm going to give you the short list that we recommend to implement this. So first is the about property. And this is where you can explain what is this collection really about? Is there uh, a collection and it's all about your services? Is it a collection all about a certain topic? This is where you can indicate what the theme is that ties all of these things together. The next is the property that you're going to use to nest these things within your collection page. So now we're looking at the property we're going to use to actually connect those different items together. And the first one we're looking at is has part. This is really common uh, and it's a strong connection. So it's really common because usually uh, collection pages are helpful when there's multiple types of creative works and none is more important than another. It's also a strong connection because you're saying that this thing that we're creating markup for, this creative work, uh, is part of the collection. The other property that is useful for nesting items within your collection page is mentions. Uh, and this is a really popular uh, property to use because the value can be anything in the schema.org vocabulary. So if it's a software, a video, a service, it doesn't matter. You can nest it through this property. It may imply a weaker connection because it's not uh, strictly speaking, a part of your collection, but your collection does mention this thing. The next uh, property I'd like to highlight is author. You can also use a creator. You can also use a publisher. Um, the point being, though, is that the author or those other properties I mentioned uh, allow you to connect the organization or the brand information of the the publisher, so of the organization that's that this web page is of. So that's how you can tie it back to your company or organization. And finally, um, there's a really uh, useful property called significant link. Usually there's lots of links uh, on these types of pages to other parts of your website. And it's great that you can just have a place to call those out. So uh, in summary, collection page is a wonderful schema class to use when your web page has lots going on or many things that are all equally important or there's no real hierarchy uh, but you want to call them all out in one uh, big block of json ld schema markup so uh, how does this actually look in the schema app editor how can we actually do this using schema app so let me show you we'll open up the uh, schema app editor and we'll go to the schema class uh, tree and look for a collection page and have it open and click create. Now uh, we need the name of what we're marking up. We need the URL. So let's take a look at our example that we'll be creating markup for. This is a page from the schema app website and it has a lot going on. It has an article about schema markup training and uh, the different chapters are things that are available for uh, authoring, deployment, maintenance, reporting, and so on. It also has a video. It also has an FAQ. It mentions our software. So let's create markup for this page. I'll grab the URL. We'll call this uh, schema markup training because that's sort of the collection of things they're all about, schema markup training. Uh, we'll replace this with the URL and we'll click create.
Okay, so now that we have our form builder open, we can start working through those properties we mentioned. The about has part mentions author significant link. So this is about schema markup training. Now, I've actually gone ahead and created the data items for the different parts of this collection page. Uh, and the reason being is that your collection may be different than my example connect, uh, collection. And so I just want to highlight uh, the connections and what it'll look like. Uh, each of those parts, we likely have a training video to complete uh, that thing. So if your collection includes an FAQ, definitely go check out our video on FAQ. If it includes an article, we'll have one for that and so on. Uh, so this is about a thing called schema markup training. The next is the author, and we want to tie that to the organization, which is schema app. After that, we can describe what this collection page is about with some text. So I'm going to go copy some text from the page that explains, you know, what is this collection of things. And I'll paste that right in. I like to copy and paste from the page uh, for a couple of reasons. One, I'm an awful speller, so this eliminates any chance of human error. And also, the number one guideline in structure data is that you only create markup for content that exists visible to a user of the page. Copying and pasting from the page is an easy way to ensure that you follow that guideline. Um, next, we can talk about uh, mentions. So following our list, we find mentions, and this is mentioning uh, our schema app editor, our software. So if I come here, I can pull up the schema app editor software and then has part. Oh, I skipped right by it. There we are, has part. So the main parts that I'd like to call out are that article, uh, the FAQ and the video. So let's get the article, which is schema markup, the article. Need a new line, so I'll click the plus button here. And now we want the frequently asked questions. And I have th three parts of this collection, so I'm going to click the plus button again. For a third line, include the schema app virtual onboarding video. Now, uh, there's some significant links, so I will grab a, a few of those links. And you can just paste those in and click done. Um, I'll grab one more just to show that again. So we'll grab this link. Obviously, you'll know which links are important for the page you're marking up. Just copy and paste that URL and click done. Okay. So we'll click done. You can see now that we have what this collection page is about. We have the author, uh, which is schema app, a description that's just text explaining what is this collection page, uh, the parts of the collection. In our case, we're doing article, FAQ, and a video. It mentions our software. It would mention um, for you uh, what Ever you need it to mention that may not be a creative work, that's when you would use this property, uh, and a few significant links. So if we view the JSON-LD, this is what it'll look like, and we can test it quickly with Google. Okay, so here's our collection page. It mentions a software application that is the schema app editor. It has a part, which is an article about schema markup training. It has a part that's an FAQ page about, again, our training. And it has a video. Uh, in this case, that's our virtual onboarding. Um, as well, it talks about the, the author, all of this, uh, which has our brand information for schema app. Now, um, each of these are eligible for a rich result. So there's article rich results, the software application rich results, the video rich results, the FAQ page rich results, and this page would be eligible for all of those rich results. Now, you won't achieve all of them at the same time, 
uh, Google will take into account uh, the search query being performed and then look at the available markup and decide how best to present uh, your snippet in search, if that's an FAQ rich result, if that's a video or so on. Uh, but you'd be eligible for multiple since uh, there are mar multiple on that page. Thank you so much. This has been a quick training tutorial on collection page markup. Uh, happy schemaing.